hi welcome to my channel it's Donnell I got my August many by me box but I was kind of sick this past week so I wasn't able to unbox it immediately so I'm just gonna go through this kind of quickly so you have your many by me card that gives you like a description it's called the go with the flow collection um, inspired by mesmerizing beauty of water marble techniques and fluid art transforming your nails into abstract masterpieces it comes with two plates and two polishes i will open them open them up in just a second and then they always come with a inspiration card this one is called mystic mirage and it gives you a sample of kind of what you can do with the plate and then on the back it gives you a little how to to achieve the look so let's go ahead and open it up i'm gonna read off of this so this is the bonus gift and and they're calling it a multi-purpose silicone nail brush cup so you can let's see like you can put your brushes in there to just hold them hold them sorry i'm having trouble talking this morning or you can pop it open because it's collapsible and you can use it with a brush cleaner whether that be acetone alcohol whatever you use to clean your brushes so yeah you can use it and it has like some ridges in the bottom you know, I personally don't usually rub my brushes against anything. I just like to swish, swish. And the lid comes off. And it's collapsible. Maybe. It is. I'm just being a goof this morning. So, yeah. Really cute. Yep. And then, let's see what else. That was the bonus gift. And then let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Oh, I don't think I have the sticker yet. Bloom with Grace. I say this every single time I open this box every month. I love their stickers. They're always in these really soft colors. They're matte and like a matte finish. And they're just always so artfully done. I just think they're so pretty. Unfortunately, my big plastic box that I was keeping my plates in and I had covered with like all of my nail stickers including all my ones from Maniology broke but I don't have the heart to throw the box away because it has all my stickers on it I'm so sad about it um I thought about trying to peel them all off but I don't think that's gonna work so anyway I'm gonna have to find a new spot for my collection of stickers so yeah and then let's see what else we have. Let me grab a something. I need something. So that I don't put my nails under there. There we go. Alright, and these are the two colors. We have this Pink, which is called Melt B521, and we have Drip B520. It's kind of like a minty green and a blushy type pink. So I'm going to swatch the top of the bottles, but I'm also going to go ahead and just do this real quick just to see what they look like. I've never done any type of fluid art on nails, so I've never tried like any type of water marbling techniques or anything. And <laughs> so yes, I've never tried. I've never tried any of that. So. This will this will make it a little bit different than traditional ways, but it'll still be fun. Water marbling techniques and stuff are 
I have a notebook where I have things I want to learn how to do <laughs> or try at least once. Uh, and it's been on my list. I just, you know, you make a list of stuff and you prioritize other things. So yeah, I'm already smudging them. I can't even do watch swatch sticks without smudging, smudging them. Wow, I can't talk this morning either. Maybe it's because I haven't had enough coffee. So there are those two swatches. Oh my goodness. Yep, it's going to be that kind of day. So let's get this out of the way. And then let's look at our plates. Let's see what we have here. So we have MXM133, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's fluid art, kind of water marble techniques, which the fluid art, I kind of did this um, with regular painting on canvases a very long time ago, and they have like these little cells and stuff in them, and that's where you want it to like kind of Think of it like oil and water. You want it to kind of like separate, but then also kind of mix in areas. So this will be fun. I mean, you could do that. You could use these for other things as well. Like to me, this kind of looks like a wave. I think you could maybe make something look like something out in nature, like brown for like a tree bark or something like that. I don't know why I see tree bark in everything. All right, and then this is MXM134, and this one's really nice because not only do you have the the Frenchies with the images, but you also have these really long ones, you know? So one, you could do like a continuous image, or if you have really long nails, that would work. Like mine aren't, um, let's see. So many allergies images tend to be bigger, so my nail would fit on there, but for other people that have much longer nails, uh, like they would have to double stamp these images and where this would allow you to like get a lot more. And you can get, you know, kind of pick up, you know, if I want this part or if I just want the middle or up there, if it looks better, you can kind of see how you can pick and choose where you want to pick up your images so yeah those are nice let me get um a couple of things ready i'm sorry if i sound kind of croaky i am a little croaky <laughs> so i'm gonna use the images off of one of these <coughs> I'm going to use one of the images off of the plate for this, just to stamp, do the swatch. I want to make sure I have enough of... I think I'm going to do this one. I don't know why this one's calling to me. have a sticky stamper station here and let's do the green I'm gonna do the green over here
Yeah. Those are pretty. Nice and opaque. They look good. I kind of wanted to play a little bit, but I don't have anything ready. So, let's see. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to do it on top of these. Okay? And let me get some... Uh-oh, I moved things. Where is black? I don't see any black. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I moved stuff and can't find it again. So, if you've seen one of my videos recently, you'll see that I did... I sold my previous desk that I was using for my nail station and it was way too high for me and so i sold it and i got a new one and it's just kind of been one thing after another so i haven't really been able to um <clears throat> finish setting up my desk and I, it's a mess i yeah if you see i'm like you know when you first get something and you have to reorganize it you kind of go back and forth back and forth of what you're gonna do and I um so like I set things in a place and then I take it down because I, I don't like it and uh, yeah it's not working so anyway that's my that's my rant for this morning so I see like so these swatch sticks are really long stilettos so they would not if I like tried to use one of these images that wouldn't fit, it's too long. I would have to double stamp and I would never be able to wear nails these long. I love women or, or men, whoever you are. I love anyone that chooses to wear these long stiletto nails and don't stab people to death <laughs> um, and can wipe their butt. Uh, but I, I mean, these are, for some people, these are considered a little bit long, but I also work in childcare and these, while they may look long and kind of pointy for childcare, they're very blunt because it's pretty thick gel, builder gel on it. So I can't even scratch myself if I'm itching. My real nails are paper thin. So those are like getting a paper cut, but if I could wear wear and function and not stab people i would definitely have nails like this every day i love them so what i'm gonna do is i am going to just kind of i think this is gonna take a lot of polish for that length i don't usually stamp my swatch sticks i don't think not the big ones I used to stamp, and you know what? My stamper's not going to be long enough either. So that's not even going to matter. But you'll get the idea. I did not put on a sticky base. And this is, again, it's fluid art, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So I'm just going to add some details up here just so it doesn't look so blank. And I was trying to be super careful because when I'm stamping, I've been ripping my stampers on my practice tips. And so I have like three or four of them that now have like from like pressing too hard where the tip goes into it and cracks it and that's not good. All right, so let's use, <coughs> I kind of wanted to see what the other one would look like in white. Like this, the example shows like the black on green, but I'm gonna do white on green since I did the black on the paint. I really didn't, I didn't think about it. I just kind of did whatever, so. I'm fine with it. So let's see if I can get the white done. Oh boy. Here I go messing stuff up. Didn't wipe this off. Okay. 
I don't have any sticky on, but it actually, I think it was still wet enough to cover it. I'm going to add this just because it looks kind of pointy gently so I don't break another stamper. And I know when you mess up a stamper, you save it because it can still be used. But uh, I... I have no shortage of stampers, but every time I crack one, I cringe. Get that off of my sticky stamper station. All right. There we go. And I think, I don't know, like, what do y'all think? Do you like, um, do you think this looks better matte or shiny? Let's see. So y'all know I love to do gel top coats because I don't like waiting for stuff to dry so that's what we're gonna do real quick everything's in the way I'm so unorganized this morning this is what I get for like waking up and immediately at five o'clock in the morning start coming to do nail stuff so I'm gonna apply oh geez sometimes my English is poor. <laughs> and it's the only language I speak. Um, but I'm doing a gel top coat first, a shiny one, because it does not smudge your stamping. However, if you go in with a gel mat, at least all the ones I've used, I say this all the time, I probably sound like a broken record, but sometimes not everybody watches every video, so that's why I repeat myself. So if you use a matte gel top coat, it may smudge. In my experience, every matte gel that I've tried smears. So what I do now is, because I don't like waiting for the regular smudge free and matte and all that to dry that's why i like to go straight to gel and gel's thicker so it also like you know it cre creates like a thicker barrier so it it gives it more depth i find anyway uh so i do it with a gel shiny top coat because that does not smudge and then if i choose to i go over it with a matte finish so that way i get the best of both worlds no smudging and matte and <clears throat> i had this in a previous video so i'm going to use it again it's a velvet matte top coat a friend gave this to me i still don't know what brand it is but it makes a really nice matte top coat because I don't know what it is, I don't know what brand it is, I don't know what ingredients it has, I don't know where it came from, so I have never used it on myself because uh, I don't want that to touch me <laughs> if I don't know what it is, uh, so I only use it on tips. But it's so nice because matte top coat, I did it again, matte top coats can sometimes have that like furry feeling and that can be kind of a sensory issue some people like it some people don't I it depends sometimes I'm okay with it and sometimes I'm like get it off it's like a fuzzy caterpillar I don't like the way it feels not anything against caterpillars but anyway wow I'm like just rambling today they're shiny I think that's really pretty but I think I'm gonna do half in the mat just to see what it looks like. So this mat, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to, it's not like, you know, you can touch it, but we'll see. Do it. I'm trying to get kind of like a line. Doesn't matter if it's perfect. I just really, I couldn't believe it when I tried it the other day. I was like, wow, that's nice. Too bad I don't know what it is. It has a pretty strong chemical smell. 
so that kind of deters me from trying it. And I like to, I you know, I always try to use best practices when I'm doing even anything on my nails and not touch them, but it happens sometimes and I don't know, I just don't trust it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, and I apologize for my squeaky chair. My chair is just creaking and cracking. Hey, you hear it? Boom. Every time I move, even the slightest bit. So you can see the tips are in matte now and these are shiny, but it doesn't have that fuzzy feeling. It's just smooth. It's perfectly smooth. No fuzzy feeling. And it looks good. It's matte side, shiny side. Which one do you like better, matte or shiny? I like both. I could see both for different situations. So, yeah. There we so, go. I do have a discount code, but it does not apply to subscriptions, but it does apply for all regular priced items on their website. The code is Donnell10. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, share with your friends, comment below. Let me know, are you a matte or shiny person or both? And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you are notified of future uploads such as this, nail tutorials, nail art, unboxings, all the nail fun stuff.